What's up, Eagles fans, and welcome inside the film room presented by Miller Lite. I'm Fran Duffy. We're going to break this down right from my film room here at the Duffy House. We're going to break down Eagles linebacker Jatavis Brown, signed from the L.A. Chargers here in free agency. And I remember watching Jatavis Brown going back a few years ago out of the University of Akron. I remember watching him and thinking, you know what? This guy had all of the traits to be a really good sub-package player in the NFL. Play on third downs, impact the passing game in a number of different ways. That's exactly what I'm going to show you here today. Let's start in underneath zone coverage, where like most linebackers, Brown spent a lot of his time. In this too high zone coverage, Brown is responsible for any immediate threat in his area of the field. Look at his eyes, and he's searching for any crossing routes coming underneath him. Now, nothing does. So he gets his eyes back to the quarterback, and he sees Josh Allen checking the ball down to his back, and this is where Brown's athleticism kicks in. Watch the burst here to the football as Brown explodes into the receiver. He jars the ball loose on contact and forces an incompletion. A slower player maybe makes this a tackle at the catch point, or maybe is not even fast enough to get there before the back can turn and make a move upfield, but Brown is able to fly downhill and make the play. Now, we've seen zone coverage. How about man-to-man -man coverage? And when you're talking about really quickly athleticism, okay, you can really break it down into two categories. You can go linear athletic athleticism in a straight line and lateral athleticism going side to side. And I think that Jatavis Brown really has both sets of traits. Now on this play, Jatavis is matched up with fullback Kyle Juszczyk, who's going to run a little route to the flat after a play action fake. And don't discount that because watch everything that Brown has to deal with here. You get the pre-snap motion and you can see that he's kind of playing the role of traffic cop here, communicating with his teammates in the back seven about how to react to that motion. Then at the snap of the ball, he's got to read run pass. And as an inside player, on that run fit he cannot afford to be wrong but he reads high hats on the offensive line look across the line of scrimmage he sees that they're all dropping back to pass they're not firing off the ball on a run play so he reverts to his pass coverage responsibility and this is where you kind of see that athleticism come into play watch how fluid brown's hips are here as he opens up to the sideline and keeps pace with use check that's his lateral athleticism now watch the short area burst Watch him close on this throw and again force another incompletion to the flat on a short pass underneath. That's the linear athleticism. So Brown showed both sets of athletic traits there on that play. One of many examples that you'll find with him on film, whether it's on defense or on special teams. Now, another important part of being a good pass coverage player is play recognition skills, mental processing. Those two things, they always get kind of lumped in together as instincts, right, for the linebacker spot. Is this guy instinctive? And honestly, I thought that was an area where he was a little bit lacking coming out of college. Honestly, it was one of the big reasons why he wasn't a first or second round pick instead of being a third or fourth round pick. I think when you look at Jatavis Brown, though, over the last couple of years, he's starting to process things a little bit faster. Watch this screen pass against the Arizona Cardinals. See how fast he triggers downhill here? He recognizes the play that's coming. He's able to react so fast that his mind allows him to beat the blocks of the offensive line, allowing him to knife in and make the stop. This was a really nice play to bring up third down for that Chargers defense. Now, Finally, the last area where a linebacker can really impact the passing game is as a blitzer. And Brown can do that really well because of that speed that I already showed you. Watch here as the Chargers have a really well-designed blitz call. See them looking as if they're sending the blitz from the right side? Watch Buffalo. They're resetting the protection to send it that way. But the blitz is not coming from the right. It's actually coming from the left. And Brown is the winner here on this play. As he flies through the B-gap, he gets to Josh Allen. He comes up with the sack. Linebackers with speed and tenacity are almost always valuable blitzers, and Brown is no exception to that as he's racked up a handful of sacks, a bunch more quarterback hits over the course of his young NFL career. So that's Jatavis Brown in a nutshell, right? He's got the ability to impact the passing game in a number of different ways, zone coverage, man-to-man. -man. You saw the defense against the screen. You saw his ability to get after the quarterback as a blitzer. He could do a lot of different things for a defense. He can also play on special teams as well with that athletic skill set. Excited to see how he can impact this Eagles team this fall. And for more breakdowns just like this on this Eagles free agent class, make sure you tune in to the film room presented by Miller Lite.